What's going on, my reefing fan? March here, Fragbox TV. Okay, we need your help today to help. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Uh, me and Dylan are having a little bit of a reefing discussion, and we want your input on this one, please. Okay, well, 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 what's going on? Okay, here's the question. Yesterday, in this tank here, beautiful green goddess bird's nest. This one right here. Today, not so beautiful. As you can see, it is completely peeled or perished or slimed up or it's whatever you want to call it. This thing's 100% gone, finished. Let me show you what it looked like yesterday. So I'm looking back at yesterday's video that we uploaded and you can see here, top left corner, right where are you right right there you can see it was happy it was good it was touching another acro and it was getting stung but here's the question i don't think that that would be enough to kill a bird's nest to that extent in one day so if you keep acro if you have any experience in this please chime in below and we'll look at the comments you can kind of see on this side here onto the right where it was getting stung by this nice pink cadillac and they were touching for a while and I was a little bit irresponsible. I should have moved them sooner as I saw they were getting close. But when I see acro touch, they'll often kind of, in my experience, just kill each other a bit where they meet, where they have that contact point. For example, um, this red digi and this Monty here are kind of doing the same thing and I really should move them. Let's we'll see if I can focus them. The same spot on the pink and see if it dies. Yeah. That's one way. So you can kind of see there how they're touching. And they're kind of killing each other a little bit. Actually, they kind of look like they're playing nice. Maybe because they're both Montipora species. Over here, I'm having some other coral warfare between the Kenya tree and the green digi. Slight though, you can kind of see it's sort of killing it, but it's not, it's not going to be dead tomorrow. So I don't think that that's what killed it. Dylan thinks that it was too much stress. They were touching for too long and, and that's what did it. I added a lot of carbon to the system yesterday. So a little bit of background story, just to give you a frame of reference. This tank up here looks great, but in the basement, it's connected to a much larger 200 gallon sort of farm system where we were having a very bad, uh, probably the worst cyanobacteria outbreak I've ever experienced. I used ChemiClean, I cleaned it up, and then all the zoas closed. All of a sudden and there's a lot of a lot of zoas down there i mean very old three four five year old large colonies of zoas we've been growing out all closed all of a sudden and in a panic i added a ton of carbon to try and pull the chemi clean out that's what i'm thinking did this under dylan thinks that it's the two of them touching chime in below let us know your thoughts your comments if you have um, experience keeping bird's nests or acrospora species we're getting close to about 9,000 subscribers on the channel so i know some of you out there have this sort of experience let us know what you guys think and help us settle this little kind of in-store debate that we're having today this is something we do very often in the store not really debate just discussion about corals and we'll see what's up that's it for today's video guys thank you very much for watching this episode of Fragbox TV and I'd really appreciate it if you have experience with these corals please chime in below and let us know what you think but that's about it and today's a wrap and goodbye fellow reefing fam